I'm going to read some more extracts from Breaking Silence Part 1, which is the evidence from 1,500 whistleblowers. If you want people held to account for what they did, don't use this law, because that's the last thing that happened. Extract 2. How could I work for someone like that? My boss covered it all up. I could not trust them. The tribunal just made me feel I was the one on trial. That I was the one that had done something bad. It was the law that betrayed me most. Extract 3. They think the wrong you reported does not matter to you. That you can do some deal with your employer. It's because the wrong mattered enough that you, you're there in the first place. Extract 5. I had no choice but to settle. I felt I had betrayed the people I was trying to protect. As soon as I could, I went to the press so I could get justice, get the truth out so people would know. The law? It's about hushing everything up behind closed doors so the employer's reputation is protected. And there's many more extracts like this. I think um, taking calls on the helpline every day um, the one thing that's driven home to me when I talk to whistleblowers is behind every whistleblower there are vulnerable people that are being abused and harmed and the reality is the person that's trying to protect them is being pushed out of their job and things can only get worse because the message that's sent out is it's not safe to speak out. We don't want people who care. So please support and sign the petition for Edna's Law because at the end of the day, you know, many people sign the petition about what was on a pound note or a five pound note. There's no pound note. A five pound note. However, this is more important than having someone's picture or whose picture is on a five pound note. This is about people's lives. So please get your priorities right and do sign this petition because it can save someone today. And right now people have been abused and five minutes ago I spoke to a whistleblower who's seen the most dreadful abuse and no one wants to help her. And she's gone to the home and she's reported what she's seen and nothing has happened. And that is the reality. That's what's going on. So please sign this petition for Edna's Law because if the public don't support this, the government will never bring this law in. So, you know, do something today about this and sign the petition. Thank you.